this robo cell activity we're going to do a simple pick and place routine and the methodology that we're going to follow looks like this here's the workflow as we work in robo cell so the first thing we're going to do is create a cell and cell setup uh, it's, it's a separate program and it can be opened also right inside robo cell we'll show you how to do that in a little bit we're going to import that cell into robo cell we're then going to teach you record points then we write the program and then we simulate it and this is basically the workflow every time we we use RoboCell so let's get started and so to get started activity 312 it's a pick and place routine says that we have to make a cell with a robot a table and a cube and to do that we're going to open up a program called cell setup and it looks like this if I right mouse click and move my mouse up and down I can zoom in and out if I move my mouse left and right while right clicking I can rotate I can also use the scroll wheel to tip my cell and if I tip it enough I can see the, the background so this is my cell and we're going to add a robot a table and a cube so let's get started we're gonna say file new we're gonna go with the ER4U robot because that's what our license is for the first thing we're going to do is go to our new objects and put a robot in with no slide base. Notice that the robot comes in and hangs in midair. It's generally good practice to leave the robot where it is and not move it around because we're going to make that our 000 where the base of the robot is. So let's just leave that where it is. And then we can go in and put things like materials and under general we can put a table right under it and we're going to stick with a gray table and for the activity it wants us to make a table that's 1000 millimeters by a thousand millimeters say okay and put it in the cell notice I you can click anywhere and just put it in the cell somewhere because we can use these tools up here to move stuff around so to move that table where we want it we're going to use the move command and it's a, it's a hand let's put our robot at the back edge of the table kind of centered it doesn't have to be real accurate but that'll do and remember everything we place is in relation to the robot so what I can do too is I can let's say that's not the right color table let's say I wanted a different color table or I wanted anything I can delete objects by using the delete object tool it's going to ask me if I'm sure. Yep, I'm sure. So then we can go back and get the right color. Uh, Jim likes fuchsia, so we'll go with a fuchsia table. And we'll say OK. And remember, the activity says make it 1,000 by 1,000. So we'll say OK. Place it in my cell. Use the drag object tool and move it underneath my robot. Try to get it centered a little bit. And there it is, there's my table. Now the next thing I want, the activity says to add a cube that's 40 by 40 by 40, and its position is 400 comma zero. Um, I'm just gonna pick another color that stands out on my fuchsia table and say, okay, I'm gonna place it on my table. I'm gonna place it anywhere on my table. And notice that as I zoom in, my robot's not centered anymore. I can choose the redirect camera tool and point that at the base of my robot and then my robot centered so that I can get a better view and I can basically recenter my cell any way I want by using that tool if I double click on that cube I can click on position and I can set that position to be exactly what I want it to be which is 400 and 0 please keep in mind that in robotics the X coordinate is really the y-axis and the y-coordinate is really the x-axis so in robotics the x and the y-axis are flipped around and we're going to say okay so that's our cell and that's the way we want it I like to have kids I tell them leave this the way you want to see it come in in RoboCell so if I save this now I'm going to say file save and I'm going to navigate to my desktop where I've already made a folder called RoboCell and I've made folders for all of my activities so this is activity A pick and place 
So I'm going to save this cell right in that folder. I'm going to call it A, P, N, P for pick and place. We'll save it. Sometimes students will accidentally close their new objects box and they don't know how to add stuff anymore. If you double click or click on the new objects icon right here, it will bring this, this box back. We can also click on the show positions button and it will show us the positions of all the stuff that we've just put in. Uh, for instance, the robot is at one, um, zero, zero, and the cube is at 400, zero, which is what we want. Something else that we can do is we can double click on the robot and we can say show envelope and we can see that our block is inside our envelope. Uh, just a word of caution, if you put your block out closer to this edge, depending on where the joints of your robot are, it may not be able to get to it even if the green block is inside the work envelope. So it's always good to stay well inside that work envelope to make sure that the robot can get to it. <laughs>